Hello, friend. Welcome to A Ticket to Christ. And uh, today we're reading through Ephesians chapter 4 from verse, let's see, it looks like 17 through, I guess it looks like 20, it's like 29, a pretty long passage. It says, This I say therefore and testify to the Lord, that ye henceforth walk not as other Gentiles walk in the vanity of their mind, having the understanding darkened, being alienated from the life of God through the ignorance that is in them because of the blindness of their heart, who being past feeling have given themselves over to lasciviousness to work all uncleanness with greediness. But ye have not so learned Christ. If so be ye, I'm, if so be that ye have heard him and have been taught by him as the truth is in Jesus, that ye put off concerning the former conversation the old man, which is corrupt according to the deceitful lusts, and be renewed in the spirit of your mind, and that ye put on the new man, which after God is created in righteousness and true holiness, wherefore putting away lying, speaking, speak every man truth with his, with his neighbor, for we are members of one another. Be angry and sin not. Let not the sun go down upon your wrath, neither give place to the devil. Let him that stole steal no more, but rather let him labor, working with his hands the thing which is good, that he may have to give to him that needeth. Let, not, corru let no corrupt communication proceed out of your mouth, but that which is good to the use of edifying, that it may minister grace unto the hearers. And just really praying for yourself, during this time, um, maybe it's a very tough time uh, in the nation. Maybe it's a very tough time in your life. Maybe you're going through a very tough season. So just praying through your own character, just really doing a self-check to make sure that on your part, that you're not just sitting in squalor. You're not sitting in unholiness. You're not sitting in a place whereby... Um, your life isn't pleasing to God. And uh, we always want to make sure that we do that self-check, you know, just to watch our life and watch our doctrine. So just praying, Father, God in heaven, I pray, Father, that um, I am not walking in the vanity of my mind. I pray that you will uh, reveal to me, Father, if there's any area of my understanding that is darkened, that is alienated from a life, in you, Father, that I, through ignorance or a blindness in my heart, um, that, Father, that, that if there's anything in me that is um, lazy, lazy, Father God, that is greedy, that is worldly, that, Lord, that you will expose it and that you will enable me to put off the old ways, the old man, the old corrupt way of thinking, the old corrupt way of speaking, and that, Father, that I will put on the new man, which is created to be righteous in true holiness. Father, that I'll put away the, the errors in my character, God, that are not like you, lying or speaking um, it with an attitude that is not, a righteous attitude, God. Um, enable me, Father, in no way to give the enemy a foothold and to uh, be honest in my work, be ethical in how I work, that what comes out of my mouth will not be corrupt and will not defile others who have to listen to me. And God, I pray even for the attitude and tone of my mind, my heart and my communication, Father, that you'll forgive me and help me to walk in a way that rightly reflects 
your attitude and your approach to people, Father. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. And um, yeah, just always making sure that as you pray through or if you're going through a hard time, you're going through difficulty, it's always wise to do a self-house check and uh, praying through everything because the Bible says our heart is deceitful above all things. Um, I was just also listening to a really convicting message and uh, the preacher was preaching and he was saying that it's not, sometimes it's not a specific sin that we need to repent of, but we need to repent of an attitude that we walk with, a mindset that is worldly, that is not loving, that is not humble, that is not empathetic or merciful or kind, that doesn't um, treat people better than ourselves, you know, that we are puffed up or um, we have the pride of life, you know, valuing the things of the world, valuing um, empty things, you know, social position, race, or um, what else people can value, pedigree, you know, you come from this background, you have this education, all of those things God views to be empty, empty, empty things. And just letting go from those patterns of the world, that kind of socializing, that kind of an empty vanity, God is not pleased with that. And just repenting of that and turning to him. Beloved, I hope that helps you and I hope you have a great night. Take care. Bye-bye.